From Rick and Morty creator and alleged domestic abuser Justin Roiland comes a brand new video game. That's exactly the thing that you would expect from him. It's a space adventure where every joke goes on two minutes too long. Hi on life. Witness what happens when Justin Roiland decides to bring his vision to life in game and experience a world that feels like a cheap knockoff of a thing made by the same guy. Complete with colorful planets inhabited by weird gross aliens, excessive expletives. You know, hey, f you, you piece What's of your shit. You walk in here, you're pissing me hey, off. What the hell are you doing? Brothers were pissed. And almost invasive improvisational humor. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Cutie Town's blowing. You ruined the whole city. All my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive. See you later. I'm diving right back into June's old porn archives. Even AI can jack off. As the game immediately introduces you to a character that's pretty much just Morty as a gun. You know, you had to kill them, right? It was either them or you, and me as well, and, and I, I, I would prefer to live. You know, and I have a voice here, I have a choice in this. And constantly showers you with self-referential jokes that make you feel like you're playing Duke Nukem. Kill him! Yeah, normally, killing children in games isn't isn't allowed, but he's dead! We killed this kid! Are, are you happy now? We killed a kid! A kid is dead now! I get it. Video games are weird. Can we continue to shoot the aliens, please? In an experience where your enjoyment can be objectively measured by how funny you think Pickle Rick actually is. Turn myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Warp into the twisted extraterrestrial adventure of High on Life as Earth gets invaded by a bunch of aliens. They want to turn the inhabitants of Earth into drugs. But you're forced to become a bounty hunter to take down the generals of the alien cartel one by one in a narrative with none of the twists and turns that you'd find in a good Rick and Morty episode, where most of the challenge will be dealing with some of the most nerve-grating characters you'll ever witness in video games. Burgles don't judge me. Not like my mother! Oh! And the hardest choices you'll make is whether to decide with your crap roommate or your crap sister. Though to the game's credit, you can usually end up shooting most of them. Why me? Why did I live? I, I should have died. Whoa, Jesus! Bathe in the comedic stylings of Justin Roiland, as the game's approach to humor largely revolves around him yelling directly into your face for the entire game, at least until you replace him with another weapon's annoying dialogue. Like this knife that will literally never shut up about wanting to stab people. Yes, f yes, more, more, I need more stab! I got the joke like three hours ago. Please just stab me instead. Although you can turn down the dialogue frequency in the menus. But at that point, you're just kind of playing a normal shooter. And then what are we really even doing here? I'm not mad or anything. I just really enjoy spending time with you and I missed it a lot and I was freaking out about it. Slide in to some surprisingly creative gunplay as you open carry your merry band of homicidal talking weapons from one group of spawned-in aliens to the next, and the usual limitations of realism and good taste are exchanged for a bunch of nonsensical guns that literally crap out bullets. That's one of my children! They died fast! Don't worry! It's easy to make more, and it feels good! That you'll aim in the general direction of your enemy and pray the floaty combat gives you a kill. Then use each Gatlian special trickles in a variety of ways to explode their alien meat sacks, or navigate through the environments to open loot boxes for upgrades that combine with frenetic movement options, varied enemy types, and some interesting gimmicks creates for a fairly enjoyable shooter, which given literally everything else about it, you wouldn't expect. What NPCs will die because you let me into the pipes into my friend's mouth. So jerk off that sentient pistol and get ready to get a little spleegy for a surprisingly fun shooter that might tide you over until the real video games come out. Granted you don't think about it seriously for even a moment, and you probably shouldn't pay 60 whole American dollars for… Starring… Machine Gun Morty. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Battletoad. Literally that gun from Halo. It's Smurf or nothing. And… Vin Diesel. Let's do it! Off World Stranger's Wrath. If the Gex games have taught us anything, it's that comedy games age like milk in the desert. So look forward to playing this again in a decade and cringing your flesh off. You, you watch me die! You watch me like a f 
Birdman. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. The gift of the goddess. Are you a bad enough dude to survive the battle sphere? What do you want? Did you come here because you're overpowered by my stunning good looks too? But how can I catch them all if I keep glitching through the world?